friends, I'm doing a really, really, really crappy video quality video this week um, because I'm having a really, 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 really crappy quality of life this week. <laughs> out of spoons this week. My camera is not working. I'm just, everything's a little bit too much. And I'm also really struggling with this feeling at the moment due to a variety of factors of isolation. And I figure that's probably something a lot of us feel. And I thought maybe it's time to talk about it. I think it's really, really hard to make friends when you have chronic illness because or chronic pain or any kind of disability because I think I said this in an earlier video it basically takes up so much of your time and interest and takes up so much of you and when you don't have a lot of other things going on like a lot of other hobbies that you can do because you've had to give them up because you're sick or a lot of other interests it's really hard to bond with people who don't have chronic illness. For example, if people I work with or people I study with or people I just meet randomly might go to sports and have all these things happening in their life and the biggest thing happening in my life is illness. They don't really understand illness and I don't really understand not having illness. There's a really big barrier in friendships, I guess, and like when I, after I got, like, personal story time, after I got sick, I ended up moving back home, back closer to, like, the place where I grew up, and I made a lot of friends in the city where I had originally been living when I got sick. And then all of a sudden, when I stopped being able to go out at parties, and I stopped being able to go out drinking or go to gigs or and I was too tired to do things they just kind of one by one dropped off and didn't bother me with me anymore and then like I moved here and I had a few friends and I've still got one or two of the people who didn't <laughs> try to cause stuff like they do in small towns because small towns are notorious for drama and then I moved to a place where I'm living now where I have issues where people I kind of knew from work and stuff were really excited because I was moving and I was going to be close to them and we could hang out and basically the few times that I've been feeling okay not to hang out with people I've messaged them or called them or just asked them hey do you want to make plans and I just get ignored because and I guess when disability advocacy and trying to educate people and be honest with how you're feeling and stuff you talk about your illness and that's not something most people want to really hear about and they sort of get this idea in the head that it's all you think about or you talk about and even though it's not I'm kind of at a place where I'm living in this town and I have lots of friends who live in the state and I've got Victoria who lives in the state and I've got friends who live in America and I have no friends who live here. I spend my day either I go to work when I'm not too sick to go and then sometimes I walk my dog and then mostly either I visit my parents, which or I sit home by myself and watch television. It's hard being isolated and the only community I have who vaguely understand what I'm going through with illness is online and most of them live in different countries. We don't have anything like support groups here. We have a pub and if you don't drink, like I don't drink, you don't fit in. Like I guess there's various forms of isolation and lots of different ones that I'm feeling at the moment because I'm feeling isolated because my only community is an online community and I'm feeling isolated because nobody around me has a chronic illness. So even though they've put up with me talking about it for years, they still don't actually know themselves what it feels like so it's kind of like a whole different ballpark and I guess I also have and it's another part of isolation is like this fear of the fact or this thought in your head that there's somewhere that you do belong only you can't get there because you're trapped in the place that you're at and I guess whenever I feel this way all I want to do is escape to this place in my head where I think I'm going to have a big community of people who understand me and I have a big community of people who have the same interests as me and I'll be able to go to cool things with them and have people to talk to about stuff that I'm interested in. And I mean, I don't know whether it's the fact that that place 
probably doesn't exist and it's more like a time in my life that's still kind of gonna come and I don't even know if this video makes much sense because I have lots of brain fog but it's the only video we're actually gonna be able to put out so like I was kind of worried not uploading the video but I've also got this sense of isolation because these YouTube things are a really big part of my life and the people who I do know the selected handful of people who actually know it's here that I know in real life and the like extended family that I have aren't interested in supporting me in it at all and I've not got anything from people I know except two people any kind of like even asking me about it or saying hey I watched your video or whatever it's just not something that it's a big thing to me and nobody I think knows me well enough I feel like to support it yeah, I've kind of been away for a couple of weeks. There was a big thing that happened with my school, which I'm not going to talk about because that's just going to cause drama. And I just kind of wanted to explain where I'm at. And also, I'm thinking, like, I might make a couple of videos about spoken word poetry before I come back and make some deep videos because I need to give my head a bit of a rest and maybe stop with the brain fog for a little while. I don't know, I guess I could really just use you guys' support this week. Like, rather than anything else, maybe just, like... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. Just, like, send me some positive vibes or something. <laughs> Alright, don't forget to subscribe. This video is better than this one on this channel, I promise. There's probably better videos to come as well, I don't think. I'm gonna have to go downhill this quickly again. Alright, bye.